April 25th, 2014. As the situation between Russia and Ukraine heats up and the rhetoric from the U.S. and the West gets stronger and threats of sanctions go on, it begins again. Our military members are giving their opinion. Stay out of Ukraine. No war with Russia. Not our fight. Not our business. I won't kill for this. I won't die for this. Now, if you remember, when the false flag happened in Syria, or the chemical attack that was being blamed on Syrian President Bashar Assad was proven to have been conducted by the rebels that, unfortunately, we were supporting, which were working in conjunction with the other rebels, which were Al-Qaeda. So, or Al-Qaeda, however you pronounce it, um, you will remember that the soldiers at that time, there was dissension among the ranks also. And we had them saying, I did not join the military to get involved in other countries' civil wars, stay out of Syria. I will not fight for Al-Qaeda in Syria. I didn't join the Navy to fight for Al-Qaeda in a Syrian civil war. I didn't sign up to kill the poor for the rich. No war with Syria and other ones. I didn't join the Marine Corps to fight for Al-Qaeda in Syrian civil war. I didn't join the Navy to fight for Al-Qaeda in a Syrian civil war. Obama, I will not deploy to fight for your Al-Qaeda rebels in Syria. Wake up, people. So this may be just the first shot across the bow, so to speak, from our military members, but they're definitely realizing that this is not our fight, even though we are rumored to have been behind the ousting of the elected president in Ukraine. Now a bunch of neo-Nazis are running it, and Russia moved into Crimea to protect their people, they said. Whatever the reasons are, it's not our fight. We might have stuck our nose into it, but a lot of our military, they're tired of it. They're tired of the false flags. They're tired of a deliberate pushing for a war that could turn into World War III. So we'll consider this the first shot.